And hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Parc des Princes. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson, and getting ready for a potentially thrilling contest. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. Lionel Messi starts with Neymar out wide. And the main threat in attack today should be Kylian Mbappe. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Jorginho plays alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And handed the task of playing up front today, Romelu Lukaku. It should be a match to look forward to. Chelsea get it underway. And a strong tackle. Mbappe. Ronaldo. Now Verratti. Making sure it didn't get past him. Might it be Mbappe? That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. The delivery from Neymar. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Gay. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So Chelsea restart the game. Can they come up with an answer? Well, he's beaten his man comprehensively. Terrific save. It's Neymar's corner. Doesn't want to lose his cool here. Messi. Messi. And they've got a real chance. Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide.
Chilwell. Intense pressure. Great pressure to win the ball back. Gay. But I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. A very good tackle. Throw-ins given. Marquinhos. On to Messi. Plenty of forward momentum here. But can... Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Who's going to get on the end of it? And the Parisians have lost possession. Being pressed and pressed high. Showing a real desire to win it back. Well, PSG have controlled the possession over the last 15 minutes and have been threatening with it. Surely it's only a matter of time before they get another. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Well, the shot more than decent. It had power, just couldn't find the target. Good effective pressure high up the pitch. Chances on. And it's gone in. The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. So 2-0 now. Hakimi. Wijnaldum now. Verratti. Wijnaldum. That's how to rob them of possession. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Idrissa Gay. Can they cover up? And a time for cool heads. Well, if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. A good and fair challenge. Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris.
Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Well, as you can see, he just hasn't had enough touches in the key areas, and that's one of the reasons they're losing this game at the moment. So underway once again, and still reflecting on a sumptuous first-half performance from Paris Saint-Germain. Taking it forward now, Lukaku. But they dealt with the threat first. Messi. Wijnaldum. And that is how to win the ball back from your opponent. And they do like to press whenever they can. An effective challenge. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Well, PSG have controlled most of the possession, as you can see. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. He made it look simple, really. They've got it now. What can they do? And into the last 30 minutes now. Plenty of options. was there for him to take the chance well the keeper deserves a lot of credit that was a fine save wasn't it good pressure can they make something of this well the keeper was called upon and delivered well he's so good in those 1v1 moments and he's proved it yet again PSG struggling to keep the ball. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And unable to keep the ball. Idrissa Gay are really pressing their opponents. PSG looking dangerous. Oh, from miles out, he's done it! How about that for a pure strike? Terrific technique! Wondrous! Well, let's take another look, because this is a special goal. He's so far out when he strikes it, he couldn't have hit that any better. Well, the ball is rolling once more. PSG dominant, and it's starting to get out of hand, you just feel. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Well, not far away from the final whistle, and PSG very much in control. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been oh, they could be in here, Stuart. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. Yeah! <laughs> 
a lopsided contest, 4-0. Mbappé on to Di Maria Verratti well flinging himself at it well both teams have had substitutes swarming up and now both will rely on their respective benches He's driven in the corner. Oh, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. And a fine tackle. Neymar has a go here. And foiled only by the crossbar. And there's the final whistle, and we can confirm a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their overall display? Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. The thing about Lionel Messi is we expect that he'll take games by the scruff of the neck, and he's done that this evening. Well, he should be happy with his goal and the win, but he'd be slightly annoyed that he hasn't scored a couple more. Overall, though, I thought he was excellent.